Hello everyone. Today we will learn how to find HCF or GCF or we can say highest common factor or greatest common factor using factor tree method. So let's begin. HCF of 30 and 45. If we have to find out, we have to make the factor tree for 30 and factor tree for 45. For that, we always divide the number with the prime numbers. So if I divide 30 with 2, I will get equals to 15. So that answer I will write down on this side. Now we have to see 15 is divisible by which prime number. So it is not divisible by 2. It can be divided by 3. So we'll write down here 3. If I divide 15 with 3, I'll get 5. I will write down 5 here. Similarly, 5 is divisible with 5 only. So I write down here 5 and what is left? 1 is left. So we have to reach till this number 1. If we are not getting that 1, we will keep on dividing it. Similarly for 45, if I will think of a prime number, it is divisible by 3. So when I divide 45 with 3, I'll get equals to 15. I'll write down that 15 here. Then again, I will write down here 3. Then I'll get 5. Then 5 is divisible with 5. I will write on 5 and here I'll get 1. Now, 30 can be written as, if I will see here, I can write it as 30 is equals to 2 into 3 into 5. I can write on all these numbers within the circle. Similarly, 45 can be written as, I will see this circle. So, 3 into 3 into 5. Five. Now, if I have to write down what is the HCF of 30 and 45, I have to find out which number is there in both the numbers. So, you can see here 3. 3 is there in 30. 3 is there in 45. So, the answer here is 3 in 2. We have to see is there any other number which is there in both the numbers. So, you can see. 5 also. So we'll write down here 5. So the final answer is equals to 15. So the HCF for this particular number is 15. Similarly, let's try the HCF for 40 and 60. So we will make the prime factors of 40 and 60 using factor tree. So we'll write down 40 and 60. If I divide 40 with 2, I'll get 20. If I will divide 20 with 2, I will get 10. If I divide 10 with 2, I will get 5. If I divide 5 with 5, I will get 1. So, these are the factors of 40. Similarly, for 60, if I divide 60 with 2, I will get 30. If I divide 30 with 2, I will get 15. If I divide 15 with 3, I will get 5. If I divide 5 with 5, I will get 1. That means these are the factors of 60. Now, 40 can be written as is equals to 2 into 2 into 2 into 5. And 60 can be written as 2 into 2 into 3 into 5. So, the HCF will be equals to Again, we have to find out what are the similar numbers in both 40 and 60. So this 2 is there in both. Another 2 is there in both. And 5 is also there in both. So we can write it as 2 into 2 into 5. We will write the number only once. That means 2 into 2, 4. 4 into 5 is 20. So the HCF for 40 and 60 is 20. Let's take some other example. So let's take the example of the bigger values HCF of 90 and 270. So we'll write on 90, 270. We'll find out the prime factors for 90. If I divide 90 with 2, I'll get 45. If I divide 45 with 3, I will get 15. If I divide 15 with 3, I'll get 5. If I divide 5 with 5, I will get 1. So, the factors of 90 are these. I write down 90 is equals to 2 into 3 into 3 into 5. 
Similarly, for 270, if I divide with 2, I will get 135. If I divide 135 with 3, I will get 45. If I divide 45 with 3, I will get 15. If I divide 15 with 3, I will get 5. If I divide 5 with 5, I will get 1. So the factors of 270 are these. We'll write down 270 is equals to 2 into 3 into 3 into 3 into 5. So the HCF will be equals to, if you will see all these numbers, they are both in 90 and 270. So the HCF is equals to 2 into 3 into 3. We have one more number which is there in both 5 into 5. That means the HCF will be equals to 2 into 3, 6. 6 into 3, 18. 18 into 5 is 90. This way we can find out the HCF or GCF of any two or three numbers. For such helpful videos, do not forget to like, subscribe, share and leave a comment in the comment section.